Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about accessing for context. Okay, this context is basically before starting. Uh, this is a new version we can able to directly access but that particular apps and all. Okay, in the old versions what happened we are not able to access directly. Okay, for that they are using for accessing for contacts. Accessing contacts is nothing but now you open one web or uh, app, any app. Okay, in that app, if you click or anything like Facebook or Twitter, anything, there is a something URL is there. If you click that particular URL, it will navigate into the another app. It will open for another app like Chrome app to logging for that particular site. Okay. Now we need to switch into the, these two apps, right? That moment we are going to use for this accessing context. Okay. That basically in the old versions it is happening. Okay. New version we can able to directly also access and we can able to switch and we can able to access both the cases we can able to. Okay. And what else? This is basically it will, uh, you can able to say switching windows in between two windows, right? That is a similar format of thing is presented. <clears throat> for this, I'm going to take for there is a one thing color notes, notepad, notes 4.4.61 APK file I downloaded. Okay, that I already installed into here. Okay. If I maximize and this is the color notes. And if I click here and I can able to click this particular window. Once I click the window, it will open for another way. Okay. Once it is done everything action, then I need to switch back to that particular app. That is a one main thing. Okay. The context how you need to know about the okay. If you go here and you can uh, connect to that particular emulator then there is a commands commands are presented okay in the commands if you click this commands it will give you for execution commands what all execution commands are there everything it will provide you okay in that in the last to second one there is a context okay maximize that once you maximize there is a three options are presented get contacts get contacts and switch to contacts okay switch to contacts we need to use for runtime only okay get contacts and get contacts get contacts is basically it will give for single element if you click one particular which is a parent parent app is presented that particular parent app it will provide you okay and get contacts it will give you for parent as well as child both the cases it will provide you these two contacts, how we can able to get it. This today we are going to discussing. Okay. Before that, we need to get for this particular app. Uh, this particular app package and app activities. These two things we need to get it. Okay. Once we get it, then only we can able to. For this, I already used and I got it that particular app activity and uh, everything. Okay. <clears throat> For this alert, I'm going to copy pasting here and then I'm going to I'll copy paste here. Then we'll delete these entire things. Okay, how this package and everything I explained in the, my previous videos go please go through that that particular videos then you can able to understand how we can able to take this package and activity both the cases. Okay. <clears throat> now we both the cases is presented now. Once we open that particular app it will we need to click for this particular one right for that i am going to take i'll reconnect one more time
okay now i will click this particular location then we can see these are resource id is there even xpath is presented here you can take the xpath itself directly or you can go through that one by one and also you can take it that as well no issue <coughs> Now I'm going to my take the X path and uh, here X path. Pasting my X path. Okay, then I'm going to click for that particular button. Okay, once I click the button, then I need to click for this particular window. Okay. Just I'm going to refreshing that particular page. Now I'm going to take this particular one and X path I will take. I'll copy my class name. Class name is basically tag name. Okay. Then I'm going to use for text. Text equal to and my text is basically like a Facebook. <clears throat> okay. It will navigate back right then once it is getting the back and i need to get for get context there is a one context is a driver dot contacts okay and this is the contacts one we can able to get the contacts okay then same thing contact both the places we need to get it contact both the cases we can able to get it okay okay now I'm going to make the paragraph type save this one and minimize this Now I'm going to run this particular app. If anything error comes, then we can able to uh, see then. Now, okay, the skip action, okay. We need to click the skip one because it is provided the skip here and there is a tool is presented. And this we are not done, right? Just I'm going to take the X path for this. The X path is basically button and skip text, okay? Just I'm going to copy for this. I'll mock to three and again three. And after that, there is a class name as a button. Then I'll take the button path. Okay. Then a text value is skip and I'm pasting for skip value. Okay, now skip is presented. Now I'm going to run one more time. Now we can see whether the contacts and contacts are presented or not. <clears throat> now we can see here there is uh, two options that is a uh, get 
uh, two things it is provided chrome and as well native and also native apps okay and here and also i explain you right directly also it will get that is particular text right whether it will uh, display that we can able to uh, read this particular text or not without switching into the app that we can see now okay I'll take the X path for that particular one. Okay. Without switching. Okay. This is a new new process. Okay. Which is a old version, different approach, and now new version is different. Okay. And the button and login is the one information is presented. I'm going to take that two and I'll read for the value. Okay. Now here the two is presented. Right? I'll Here I'll paste it. Four. Four. Then the text value is not login. Okay. And here we need to use for print option. And then here el4 dot text. Okay. This is a function we need to use the text to get that particular text value. Okay. Now I'm going to run one more time before running we can close this one now running okay directly also we can able to take it the function like the latest versions it is having that capability we can able to without switching also we can able to get the text from that particular apps Now you can see login also it is presented. Okay, login also it is presented. Okay, all the cases we can able to do it. And the next video session time we can able to see whether we can able to uh, perform any other options or not, like uh, any other actions or not. I can close this particular window. Then I'll click for about. Okay, I can able to read the data or not without switching into the app. Okay, without switching into the app, without switching into the app, whether we can able to directly connect with another app and do the performance or not. This thing we can see, okay, with the both the cases. One is without switching and doing the actions. Another one is with the switching and doing the actions. These two things we can able to do it in the next video session times. Okay, thank you for watching. Subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment on this video. Thank you.